This is called The True Story of Santa Claus. Santa Claus was not always a jolly old fellow. He did not always have long white whiskers or wear a big red suit. Long before he lived in the North Pole, Santa Claus was an ordinary baby boy. His parents hoped for great things from their son. They named him Nicholas, which means hero of the people. Even at a young age, Nicholas was a kind and generous boy. He shared food with those who had nothing to eat, and was always willing to lend a helping hand. When he was young, Nicholas joined the church. He became well known as a kind young man and was soon named a bishop. Nicholas wore a long red robe with a red hat, and he visited villages on horseback. In one village, Bishop Nicholas heard of a poor man who could not feed his daughters. Nicholas knew he could help with his family. That night, Nicholas climbed up to the rooftop of the family's hut and dropped three bags That's of gold Santa. through the chimney. That's Santa. This is when he was young. The bags fell into the stockings that had been drying by the fireplace, and the girls found them the next morning. Father, they called, wake and running to wake him. We have received a magical gift. As the story of these sisters spread, other people began to hang stockings by the fire, hoping to find a gift the next morning. Bishop Nicholas enjoyed surprising people. He would deliver his secret gifts at night while his friends were asleep. For all of his good deeds, Bishop Nicholas was named a saint, and December 6th was named St. Nicholas Day. Many years ago, people began to celebrate St. Nicholas's good deeds on Christmas Day. St. Nicholas has many names around the world, but many people know him today as Santa Claus. And the gifts he delivers bring the joy of giving to children everywhere. The end.